Godzilla King of Monsters, the latest of three new kaiju movies being made in America, followed with the first one being the 2014 Godzilla, followed by Kong Skull Island, a movie I found personally very enjoyable, um, because, you know, I like King Kong. And then Godzilla King of Monsters, which follows the events happening five years after the events of the 2014 Godzilla movie, which had many problems. I am going to admit that. This film addresses some of them, but other parts not so much. So one of the biggest problems that a lot of people had with the 2014 one was that it misrepresented what the film was. It made it look like it was just Godzilla rampaging and being Godzilla, and it actually turned out that the movie was more of a kaiju versus kaiju film, with some shots in the trailer straight up being edited out. Also, it looked like it was starring Brian Cranston and blah, blah, blah. But this movie, it gives you what it markets. It's Godzilla fighting Ghidorah, with a number of the other kaiju coming in. And yeah, that's what I wanted. My biggest problem is that it focuses, I feel, a little too much on the people and not enough on the Godzilla versus Ghidorah thing, but you know, that's not the biggest deal breaker for me personally. It's enjoyable. I do wish there was more monster action, but the monster action we do get is a lot of fun. You know, it got the marketing right. The marketing is actually true to what the film is, and I personally very much enjoy that. There are multiple parts where the movie feels like it's dragging. What I mean by that is that there are a couple of parts where I'm like, okay, can we please just get on to the monsters murdering each other? That's what I paid to watch, you know, because it's Godzilla. Um, like, there are a couple of fight scenes where it focuses more on the people, and I feel like they did that because CG budget, which, by the way, the CG in this is really freaking good. Like, it legitimately looks like these monsters could exist. Um, the, the monster fights were a great ton of fun to watch. Um, one, one of my favorite moments came uh, in during one of the earlier fights where Godzilla did something. It was like, ha ha, suck it! Wait, what? I didn't know you could do that. The shit! Which, if you watch the movie, or if you've already seen the movie, you know exactly the part I'm talking about, and you might have a similar reaction to me, I honestly don't know. Um, for me it was kind of like a wait what type moment, um, considering I don't know a ton about that kaiju. Oh, that's another thing that I forgot to mention earlier. The kaiju in this movie, they're called titans. I mean, I kind of get it. Kaiju translates to giant monster, or roughly translates to giant monster, but you had people of Monarch from all over the globe. Kaiju sounds cooler than Titan. Why do you not use Kaiju? And that's also me and just liking the word Kaiju. I mean, I, I do understand it, kind of. Titan does seem to be a more American... Um, English-speaking country-based organization, but there are very much hints that it's a worldwide organization because they have bases all over the globe at this point. Yeah, so I just, I really wish that they were called Kaiju as opposed to Titans. There's not much more for me to say. If you like the Godzilla franchise, there's a good chance you're gonna find this enjoyable. If you like Kaiju films in general, you're probably going to like this. Uh, th there's not much else I can say there. You know, I feel like anyone that likes the kaiju, anyone that likes the type of movie, you're going to enjoy this movie. Um, I'm trying out a new uh, system of rating movies. Um, I really like D&D, &D, and so I'm going to be basing it on a D20. So for me, this movie rolled about a 13. A little bit above average in enjoyment, but not enough that... I would probably actively seek this movie out unless I just went on a kaiju kick. Yeah, so that's all for me, guys. If you want, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are going to be down in the description below, as always. Um, and that is all that I have to say about this movie. I will see you guys later. Peace.